there is nothing like highlighting someone in history who is all about the civil rights movement and social justice along with being known as one of the most influential labor activists of the 20th century and a leader of the Chicano civil rights movement. Now, if you're asking who is Dolores Huerta, I have the answer. Dolores Huerta is a labor leader and community organizer. Dolores has dedicated her life to working for civil rights and social justice for over 50 years. Wow, now that is dedication. Looking at the life story of Dolores Huerta, she was born on April 10, 1930 in the mining town of Dawson, New Mexico. Her parents later divorced and Dolores moved to California. Her mother worked different jobs as a waitress and a cannery worker saving enough money to eventually buy a small hotel and restaurant. She even helped shelter people while taking part in community activism. This was a blueprint for Dolores to grow up and be involved in community activism, too. As a young girl, Dolores was a Girl Scout. There, Dolores learned about courage and leadership skills. That is pretty cool. We always need leaders and organizations in the community to help us grow. So true. But Dolores was also raised during a time when racism was everywhere. For example, even in school, Dolores was accused of cheating on her papers because Hispanics wouldn't have been able to write as well as Dolores wrote. She would also see men assault her brother for wearing a zoot suit, which was a popular Latino fashion at the time as well. That is all bad. It is so sad hearing stories like that. After high school, Dolores went on to attend college, earning a provisional teaching credential and married Ralph Head, where the two would go on to have two daughters, Celeste and Lori. During this time, they really needed Dolores in her community. What type of need? While teaching, Dolores came across many students who were coming to school hungry and even kids who had no shoes on their feet. That is awful. That is exactly what Dolores thought, and she knew she could do more. Dolores began to get involved in leadership at the Stockton Community Service Organization. She would go on to found the Agricultural Workers Association, helping set up voter registration drives and taking the message of change to local governments for improvements there in her community. Dolores would even go on to connect with another well-known labor leader in history. You're talking about Cesar Chavez. They would go on to launch the National Farm Workers Association in 1962. Yes, Dolores helped in getting aid for dependent families and disability insurance for farm workers in the state of California. Dolores helped to make a major difference. She also helped with getting the Agricultural Labor Relations Act of 1975 enacted, which was the first law of its kind in the United States, giving farm workers in California the right to collectively organize and bargain for better wages and work conditions. You are so right. Sharing another interesting fact from her biography, her works would not go unnoticed. That is where in 1993, Dolores was inducted into the National Women's Hall of Fame, becoming the first Latina woman for this type of honor. And don't think the award stopped there. Dolores has been recognized by many organizations, including receiving the Eleanor Roosevelt Human Rights Award from President Bill Clinton in 1998. She was also recognized by another president in 2012, when President Barack Obama gave Dolores Huerta the highest civilian honor in the United States with the Presidential Medal of Freedom. As you can see there, even during a time when someone like Dolores would be the last person to be heard, Dolores Huerta saw a need and stood up for what was right. 